Good morning, students. How are you all? So all are fine. I hope all are fine. The previous class we had completed the portion bryophytes. Am I correct? Economic importance of algae and classification of algae and the second plant group bryophytes. Am I correct? So that much of the portions so only prepared, learnt. That's the last class. Am I correct, children? Yes. So today's class we are going to learn about that's the next plant group pteridophytes. Clear? So what does pteridophytes? What does pteridophytes means? So this is the first true land living plants. Clear? The first true land living plants. So that is called the name is known as pteridophytes. Clear? This pteridophyte members, so they occur in that cell vascular tissues. The vascular tissues means the xylem, phloem. So these are the vascular tissues of the so presence. So this is the first the developing the vascular tissues of this pteridophyte members. So that's why we are called that a vascular cryptogamy. Okay. So that is the bryophyte members or they call the name is known as vascular cryptogamy. Understood children? Yes. So the next one. What are the pteridophyte? What are the characteristic features? Means mostly so this is the plants are very very smallest herbaceous and moisty so that was they grow in the that is the very cool and shady places wherever that's the water is available that regions only the bryophyte members are growing clear then bryophyte members so they are calling that is vascular cryptogamy why they are calling that is vascular cryptogamy very good they develop in that is the vascular tissues so that's the vascular tissues like xylem and phloem. So that's why, so this one is called, its name is known as vascular cryptogamy. Mostly, so this one is the period, that's a deponian period. So that's a paleozoic era. So that's a 400 million years ago. So these species are available in that world. Clear? Yes. What are the plant examples? So they belong to this group space. So there comes under in a club moss, hostile, quillwoods, and waterfalls, tree ferns. So these are the certain examples: waterfall, tree ferns, and it's a club moss, and then it's a hostile. So these are the certain examples of the species. They belong to this pteridophyte members. Clear children? The next one we are going to learn about is the general characteristic features of pteridophyte members. The general characteristic features of pteridophyte members. First of all, the plant body is the sporophyte. The plant body is a sporophyte, means that's a sporophyte region. The sporophyte phase is the dominant one. So there is the differentiated into root, stem, and leaves. That's clearly differentiated. The sporophyte is a root, stem, and leaves. Clear? Then the roots are they come under in a adventitious roots and then the stem is they come under in a monopodial and dichotomous so single and then so that's a branch with stems or they present in this pteridophyte members. The leaves are they present in a microphyllous and megaphyllous. So this is one of the special leaves they present in the disposed regions. So that is the special one of the general characteristic features they found in that's a pteridophyte members. Understood children? Yes. The next one is steel. What do you mean by steel? The steel means, so what does that steel means? The central cylinder, so that's a vascular tissues formation is now. So there, central cylinder of vascular tissues, they are consisting of a xylem, phloem, pericycle, and also in some times they are present in a medullary with pith rings are present. Okay, the medullary ring with that's a pith is present. So that is we are called the name is known as a steel. What is a steel? That's one of the two more questions, children. So the steel is a central cylindrical vascular tissues. That vascular tissues they containing in a xylem and phloem. So very equal also. In some cases, some conditions, so they are present in the medullary rings with the what item is present? The pith also present. Clear? So that is we are called the name is known as steel. Clear? Next, the steel is they comes under in a two type of steel.
steel one is proto steel and another one is siphon steel okay proto steel and siphon steel proto steel means so the xylem is present they surrounded by that's a phloem element clear yeah? that is proto steel then siphon steel means the xylem is there they surrounded by phloem but central region the pith is present clear yeah? that is known as siphon steel these are the two type of the steel is present in a pteridophyte numbers so here most of the cases they present in a proto steel in some cases only they present in a siphon steel one of the good examples of this is some forms of this siphon steel condition that's the example of the species is a marsilia clear children are you understood now so what are the two type of the steel very good proto steel and siphon steel okay then siphon steel example is that this one is the very few conditions only they present in a siphon steel this is most of the species they present in a proto steel condition okay this is siphon steel that's the example of the species is the marsilia clear yes next one tracheids so that is the pteridophyte members mostly that's a water conducting element is the tracheids but in one of the example of the species the pteridophyte members selachinella their water conducting elements they presents in the vessels so if you have learned that is the xylem and phloem elements so they you have to be learn about these are the sub types of the xylem elements tracheid vessel trachea so these are the sub types of the xylem elements understood children a tracheid is the major one of this water conducting elements but in that selachinella species their water conducting elements they are present in they found in the vessel cells understood ma yes the next one is we are going to learn about the next characteristic features of this pteridophyte members sporophyll what is mean by sporophyll the sporangium the sporangium they are producing in a spores so that the spores are they present inside in a bag like structures clear that bag like structures they born on that is one of the special leaves okay that's one of the special leaves that is we are called the name is known as sporophyll clear children so once again what is sporophyll one of the two more question children so here that's a sporangium development is happening at that time the spores saw they bearing in one of the bag like structure that is born on a one special leaf that is we are called the name is known as sporophyll clear then after that this sporophyll is get organized into cone and strobilus formation cone and strobilus formation cone or that is the strobilus strobilus formation is present in this one understood no so this is the one of this two more question what is sporophyll okay the next one this pteridophyte members they produces in a two type of the spores children one is homosporous condition and another one is heterosporous condition already you know this from this word you have to be right this one homosporous only one type of the spores are producing so that is we are called that's a homosporous clear heterosporous means in this type so they presents in a two different type of the spores are producing in a pteridophyte member so that is we are called that's a heterosporous clear homosporous only one type of spores are producing heterosporous two type of the spores are producing that's we are called the heterosporous each one you have to be quote that's one one example children homosporous condition example lycopodium heterosporous condition that's the example is selachinella clear so this is the one of this type of the special spores are developing in a pteridophyte members understood the next one is development of the sporangium the sporangium they are comes under in a two types children one is eusporangium and another one is the leptosporangium So what does mean by use sporangium means? So here the development of the sporangium, the group of the initials they develop means that is we are called the use sporangium. Understood? Suppose there is a sporangium cells, they divide in a periclinal means they they divide into two. One is the outer layer, so they are present in a jacket layer. Okay, the jacket is sporangium, and then at the, another one is so they are producing in a archesporium. clear so these are the group initials they are forming in this one means the group of this initial the development of the sporangium is called a eusporangium clear leptosporangium means so that's the development of the sporangium 
they developed it from a single initials clear this is group of initial this is single initial so these are the two type of the development of the sporangium they formed in this pteridophyte members understood children say sir no ma yes what are the two type of this sporangiate development very good eusporangiate and leptosporangiate leptosporangiate clear which one is they are developing of this sporangium from the group of initial very good eusporangiate single initials developing with sporangia leptosporangiate understood yes the next one is so that's a spore mother cell so the here that's a diploid condition of the spore mother cell that one is they undergoes this meiosis cell division okay undergoes this is the meiosis cell division they develops into that's a spores that's a spores or the reduction division here they takes place in a reduction division after they are get it in that's a haploid condition of the spores understood no the next one of this general characteristic features of this pteridophyte members prothallus what is prothallus another one of the two mark question already you learn about that's one of the two mark question what is sporophyll second one question is coming what is prothallus the prothallus the spores are germinating okay so at that time the spores are they germinating the spores are they germinating at that time they producing in a haploid multicellular green coated shape coated shape means so this like shapes that this like shapes so that is we are called coated shapes coated coated shapes okay coated shapes so these are the structures they are developing independent gametophyte is called the name is known as prothallus understood what is prothallus the spores or they germinate to producing in a haploid multicellular green coated shape of independent gametophyte is we are called the name is known as prothallus clear the next one is different type of reproduction is takes place in a pteridophyte members first one is vegetative reproduction the vegetative reproduction that one is they takes place in the cell the types of fragmentation and root tubers adventitious buds so these are the different types of this methods the different types that one is they helping in the vegetative reproduction of the pteridophytes members clear okay? the next one is sexual reproduction mostly the sexual reproduction is they comes under an oogamous type children that is oogamous type means so here they are producing in a two type of the sex organs children one is there is a male is the andridium they produces in a andridium and female is that produces in a archegonium clear okay? so this for two sex organs that is the This one is the male sex organ. This one is the female sex organ. So these two sex organ, they are produced from the prothallus region. Understood, children? So these two are they produced from the prothallus region. Understood? Yes. Then what about the characteristic features of andridium? Okay. So the from this is the andridium. What is the? How will you be producing this? The androsoids means. So that is the spirally coiled. What is the characteristic features of andridium? The spirally coiled, multi-flagellate androsoids are they produced from this andridium? And archegonium. So there, that's a flask-shaped like structures. So these flask shape they present in a two region children. One is venter and neck regions. Okay. The venter means one oval shape of the area, and another one is that's a neck region is present. So that's a broad, that's a vendor region, and this is a one of this elongated, narrow like nature of this neck region is present. Yeah. Then what are the things are consisting in these two regions, vendor and neck region? Vendor they possess that egg gland ova. Okay. Our vendor they consisting of or side of a very good egg gland ova. Neck region they consisting of this neck canal cells are present. Clear. Yeah. So these are the items they present in this archegonium. That is the female reproductive organs. Clear, yes, children? Yes. The next one for this fertilization of the steridophyte members, water is essential for this fertilization process. Understood, children? Yeah? The next one is apogamy and apospory. So what does mean by apogamy and apospory means? So here. 
the pteridophyte members, this is the two type of this, that's a conditioners are showing in this one, children. What is meant by apospore means? So that is the development of the sporophyte. They without fusion of the male and the female gametes. In that time, they arise directly from the gametophyte region. So in this condition, the sporophyte is haploid in nature. Okay, in this condition, the sporophyte is a haploid in nature. That is the type as we are called apogamy. So if you listen, in the development of the sporophyte, without fusion of the male and the female gametes, so that one directly they produces in the gametophyte, but it's a sporophyte is the which condition? Normally the sporophyte is diploid condition, but here that is the sporophyte is the haploid condition. Here, yeah? so that is we are called the apogamy. Then pteridophyte members also show they shows that another one condition is the apospory. What does mean by apospory means? The development of the gametophyte, any of this vegetative cells, that's a sporophyte other than that's a haploid spores. Okay? Other than that is a haploid spores. So here there is a without formation of the spores children. Clear? Without formation of the spores. So that is the pteridophyte, one of this very one Typers they expressing in the apospore conditions. So these are the two special characters they showing in this pteridophytes members. Understood? Apogamy and apospore. Understood children? Say yes or no? So these are the certain general characteristic features of pteridophyte. And sometimes they will ask that why not question, write any five points about that uh, pteridophyte general characters. In some times they will ask that is a small tumor question, sir. Small question, what is a sporophyll and what is prothallus and then what is apogamy and what is aposporin. So these are the questions in sometimes they will ask. And also sometimes they will ask that can you differentiate these two terms, use sporangiate and leptosporangiate. Then define what is homosporous and what is heterosporous. So this is like you have to be prepared. Clear? So these are the some sort of two mark or three mark question. So I have dealt the two just model only. So you have to be prepared these patterns. Understood children? Say yes or no ma? Yes. The next two ones we are going to learn about that is the economic importance of pteridophytes. So that is the next one as we are going to learn about that is the economic importance of pteridophytes. Just before we are going to learn about that is the economic importance. We have learned that is another one more thing is right? What is the classification of pteridophytes? The classification of pteridophytes, so that is the post, that is person name is known as Rainian. Okay? So that is the person name is known as Rainian. So that person only, they propose this classification of pteridophytes. Okay? Classification of pteridophytes. So which person they propose that is a classification of pteridophytes? Rainian. So this person only, they classified that is a pteridophyte members in the year of 1954. So that person, they are classified into five subdivision children. What are the five subdivision? Siloptisida and Siloptisida, Lycopsida, Spenolopsida, Tyropsida. Clear? Yeah? Silophytopsida, Silophytopsida, Siloptisida, Lycopsida, Spenolopsida, Tyropsida. Clear? Yeah? So these are the five subdivisions they are comes under to classify in this person. Clear? Yeah? So in this pteridophyte members, so they comes under in a 19 orders. How many families are they comes under in this group pteridophyte members? Means 48 families are present. Understood children? Say yes or no? Yes. The next one we are going to learn about that is the economic importance of pteridophytes. The economic importance of pteridophytes, if you are going to learn about this economic importance, please all of you take your textbook children. So many names are coming, the preophyte, sorry, pteridophyte members. So you have to be, see your textbook and learn one by one. Clear? The economic importance of pteridophyte, so that is they come under in a many uses. Certain species are we are using in a food. 
certain species they are chemical using in that bio fertilizer some of them they are using in ornamental plants and some of them they are using in that dye preparation so these are the sort of beneficial activities so they we can use it for this from the teredophyte members or teredophyte species clear yes let us learn one by one first one is rumora adiantifolus rumora adiantifolus so this is the they commonly we are called that's a leather leaf fern okay so leather leaf fern so that's a species name is that one so that's a use as a cut flower arrangements so bouquet preparation so these and all the things they are using for this items the next one is one of the example of the steridophyte mumbos marshelia this marshelia that is producing in a sporocarpus that sporocarpus we are using as a food that mostly this one as they using for that food is the tribal peoples okay that person only they began using in that is the marshelia sporocarp they used as a food clear azola that's one of this very good examples for this bio fertilizer in that paddy field so they are we are using in that is a one of this fertilizer so that's a example of the species name teredophyte mumbos is a azola the next one is triopteris triopteris so that is the treatment of tapeworm tapeworm means so that's a sudden preparation of this vermifuge red bird that preparation we can using this species triopteris the next one is teris vitata so this one species very good on at the examples the removal of heavy metals so that's a heavy metals or they presents in the soil you know bio remediation that process we can using this species teris vitata clear the next one is teridium species so from the leaves region this is the teridium species from the leaves part we are get it in a one of this green dye okay that's dye preparation we can using in that uh, species of the species from the species we will uh, take it in that the leaf part we can using in that preparation of dye clear then ecosystem this is the stem so that one is they removing this uh, dirty things okay the removal of this dirty things that's we can we can using in that species of ecosystem clear children say yes or no yes next one some of the species we can using in uh, ornamental plants silota lycopodium selaginella and the another one is maratha okay selaginella lycopodium silota sometimes they will ask that is the three more question means they will accept it to right uh, accept the three species names sometimes two more means they will accept that's only two species okay the easiest species names only you can learn silota lycopodium selaginella and angiotris okay so these are the certain species we can using in a ornamental plants understood children say yes or no that's a sometimes they will ask that a five more question economic importance of teredophytes please all of you go through this questions five more based clear so many economic importance are coming that teredophyte bryophytes algae so many species the plant each plant kingdoms they have that say economic value clear children yes so the next two of us we are going to learn about that sir next topic types of steel okay types of steel of water steel children water steel water steel very good central cylinder of vascular tissues the vascular tissues means already you know from the lower classes itself we learned it's a vascular tissues xylem and phloem am i correct the xylem and phloem and also they are present in the pericycle sometimes they present in the medullary rays with the pith also present clear medullary rays with the pith so that is we are called that's name is known as steel water steel to mark the steel water steel clear the two type of steel one is proto steel and another one is siphon steel what i mean by proto steel already i taught this one what does mean by proto steel children very good phloem surrounds that xylem am i correct the phloem surrounds that is xylem our xylem is surrounded by a phloem am i correct so that is known as proto steel clear siphon steel means xylem surrounded by phloem the central region what one is present pith very good so yeah the central region so they presence in a pith so that is we are called the name is known as siphon steel these are the two major steels they are presence in that one clear 
The next one is the protostelis they comes under the these four types are right. Siphonostel also they comes under the these are the following types. Okay. First one, let us learn that's one by one. Protostyl, already you know that's what is mean by protostyl. The next one is haplostyl. What is mean by haplostyl? Similarly, this is the answer only they are coming in children. What is mean by haplostyl? It means the xylem surrounded by phloem. So that is we are called the name is known as haplostyl. Okay. The xylem surrounded by phloem. So that is known as. So if you see this diagram, children. What does mean by haplostyl? That's a xylem. So that's a central region. Okay, the xylem that is surrounded by a phloem. That is we are called the name is known as haplostyl. That's another good example of the species is the selaginella. Clear? The next one is actinostyl. So here that's a star shape of the xylem that is surrounded by a phloem elements. So this type of the steel is we are called the name is known as actinostyl. Clear? The star shape of this xylem elements that is surrounded by a phloem elements that is we are called the name is known as actinostyl. This one is good example is a Lycopodium serratum. That is one of the species name of pteridophyte numbers Lycopodium serratum. Clear children? Say yes or no? The next one, what does mean by plectostyl? Plectostyl means the xylem plates. So here, the xylem plates alternate with the phloem plates. Xylem plates, xylem means, so that is a representation of this red color. Clear? The xylem plates alternate with the phloem plates. Okay? So that is the type of the steel as we are called, that is name is known as plectostyl. Clear children say yes or no? Xylem plates alternate with the phloem plate is known as that is a type of the steel is known as plectostyl. Example the one of the pteridophyte members Lycopodium clavatum. Lycopodium clavatum. Am I correct? Yes. Next one mixed protocell. Mixed protocell there is not given that is a diagram children. So here that is a mixed protocell the xylem groups is Uniformly, that is very very important. The xylem groups are uniformly they scattered on the phloem. Okay, just imagine phloem elements is there means that is a this is the phloem elements. Am I correct? This is the green part. So that is a phloem element. The phloem elements, so that is the xylem groups wise, the uniform groups wise that is scattered in the phloem. That is we are called that is name is known as mixed protocell. That is one of the good example. That says name is Lycopodium serranum. Lycopodium serranum. Clear children? So these are the different types they come under in a protostyl. What are the types names children? What are the subtypes they come under in a protostyl? Can you able to say? Yes. Haplostyl, actinostyl, plectostyl, mixed protostyl. Clear? So these all the types have to be quoted that one on example. Haplostyl means selaginella. That is a good example. Actinostyl, lycopodium serratum. Plactostyl, lycopodium clavatum. Mixed protostyl. So that is the example is lycopodium serrana. Lycopodium serrana. Understood ma? So these are the different types of protostyl is present. The next one is siphonostyl. Okay. Already I told that sir. What does mean by siphonostyl? Do you remember that? Do you remember that children? Very good. Xylem is very good. Surrounded by phloem. Yeah? But the central region they are present in a pit. Clear? So all of you see this diagram. Xylem is surrounded by phloem elements. But that is central region they are present in a pit. So that type of the steel is we are called the name is known as Siphonostyl. Clear? This siphonostyl is also they come under so these are the types children. One is ectofloic siphonostyl, amphifloic siphonostyl, solenostyl. Solenostyl also they come under so three types. Extofloic solenostyl, amphifloic solenostyl, dictyostyl, eustyl, atactostyl, polycyclic steel. Okay? 
So all of you try to tell children what are the subtypes they come under in a siphonostil. Ectofloic siphonostil, amphi fluid siphonostil. The next one is solenostil. There also they come under repeated these two. Ectofloic solenostil, amphi fluid solenostil. Understood? Then the next one type is dictyostil, eustil, atactostil, polycyclic stil. Clear? Let us learn that one by one. First one is ectofluoic siphonostil. Ectofluoic siphonostil means the fluid is present only that is an external side of the sylum. Clear? So all of you see children. That is an ectofluoic siphonostil means central region the width is present. Here there is a phloem elements is only they present in an external side of the sylum elements. That is we are called that is a ectofloic solenostil. Sorry, ectofloic siphonostil. Understood ma? Then amphifloic siphonostil. Amphifloic siphonostil means so all of you see this one. So yes, central region is with us there. Then xylem is there. Xylem both the sides they present in a phloem elements. Okay? Both the sides they present in a phloem. That's a type of we are called that's an amphifloic siphonostil. Clear? Ectofloic siphonostil means so that's a phloem is only they present outside of this external side of the sign. Clear? That is one of the good examples asmunda. That's another species example asmunda. Amphifloic siphonostil means so that's a central region with this presence. The xylem, the xylem, both the sides they present in a phloem elements. Clear? That is known as amphifloic siphonostil. That's a good example of the species is a marsilia. Understood, children? Say yes or no? The next one, solenostil. The solenostil, so here that's a one whole is present, children. That's a corresponding regions only that presents. So here, see, this is the solenostil. The solenostil, so in this area, one hole is there. That's a place, one perforated. Perforated means that's one of the hole is present. In that regions only, the origin of the leaf traces is starting. Here, yeah? that's the origin of the leaf traces is they start from the perforated places. Clear? So this type of the steel is we are called that's a name is known as solenostil. Understood children? But what is mean by solenostil? The solenostil that is the perforated. Perforated means one whole region is present children and that place that is the origin of this leaf traces. Okay? That is we are called that's a solenostil. Then the solenostil also that is they come under in a three types, subtypes children. One is ectofloic solenostil, amphifloic solenostil and dictyostil. Let us learn this one by one. Ectofloic solenostil means this is the same one only repeated here children. So what does mean by ectofloic solenostil? The ectofloic solenostil means so in this region the pith is present in the center. The silenus is surrounded by the phloem elements. The pith is they present in the center region. The silenus is surrounded by that phloem. Clear? So that is we are called the ectofloic solenostil. But the just you see this is on this one. Solenostil. Ecto. Ecto means already you learned this is the ectofloic. But the center region is the pith is present. Then xylem, that xylem they surrounded by that's a phloem elements. Clear? That's a steel, a steel as we are called, that's a name is known as echo phloem solenostil. Clear? That's a good example is asmunda. That's a good example is asmunda. Ampifloem solenostil. Ampifloem means the same one. Already you learned here now. The central region, the pith is present. Central region, the pith is present. Then the xylem is they presence in the xylem elements is surrounded by that is a phloem. Phloem is the presence in the both the sides. That is very very important. Both the sides is present. Okay. The xylem, they presence in the, the phloem elements that is surrounded by that is a two sides is present. So that is we are called that is the amphifloic solenostate. 
That's a good example as two species adiantum pedatum. Adiantum pedatum. That's a species example for amphiphloic sulminosity. Clear children? Yes. The next one is dictyosity. So this is the diagram. All of you see this one? Dictyosity. Okay. But what does mean by dictyosity means? The steel saw the separated in a several vascular bundles. See this one? This is a steel saw separated in a several vascular bundle. But that is a separated vascular bundle. Now this each strand is we are called the name is known as meristem. Okay, so the each the vascular bundles are they separated into several bundles. Right? That each bundles is we are called the name is the single one as we are called the name is known as meristems. The each single bundle is we are called the name is known as meristem. So what does mean by meristem? This is the one of the two more questions, children. Right? So all of you listen. The steel so they separated this. What does mean by dictyosity? After that, so you have to be learned. That's one of the two more questions. What does mean by meristem? Okay. What does mean by meristem? Then what does mean by meristem? Try to learn. The steel so they separated into that's a several vascular strands. So that vascular strand so called. So here, see. The single single vascular strands are separated. Am I correct? So each the strand is we are called the name is known as meristems. Clear? So this is the example is adiantum capillus, adiantum capillus, and another one more is adiantum venaris. Venaris. Clear? So these are the two species examples they come under in a dictyosti. Clear? The next one is eustem. The steel is split into different, distinct, separated into collateral vascular bundle. So here I want to explain this a collateral vascular bundle. Collateral vascular bundle means, what do you mean by collateral vascular bundle means? The xylem and the phloem, they present in the same radius, children. Xylem and the phloem, they present in the same radius. But the phloem elements, is, they present always in the outside direction, clear? The phloem is the green color. The phloem is always they present in an outside direction or externally only. Understood, children? So this type of the steel is we are called the name is known as U steel. Clear? But U steel means the steel is split into that's a collateral vascular bundle. Collateral vascular bundle. Collateral. That's a word meaning only I said. Clear? Collateral means xylem and phloem they present in the same radius. But the phloem is always presence in the externally outside direction. Clear children? So around that surface, so that's the type of the steel as we are called, the name is known as u -steel. So this condition we are clearly see in that sir, which type of the plants means, so that's a dicot stem. Okay, the dicot inhibitors plants. So that's a plants group is we are mainly they are classified into dicot and monocot plants. Do you heard this name? Yes, so that is a dicot stem regions only. You can see this type of the vascular condition. So that is a U steel condition. Clear? The next one is A tacto steel. So this A tacto steel means so here the steel so they separated into the steel so they separated into this collateral type. Of, here also there is a collateral type of vascular bundle. Collateral means already you know that one. Am I correct? The collateral vascular bundle. That is a scattered, that is embedded on a ground tissues. This is the full region is mentioning in a ground tissues. In a, this ground tissues area, that is an embedded form. The scattered forms only, they present this type of vascular bundle. Which type of vascular bundle? Collateral vascular bundle. Understood children? Say or no? So that is the type of the steel is we are called, the name is known as a tacto steel. Clear? This is the condition is available in that species as a plants of monocot stems. Clear? That is a good example of a tacto steel. So that is the example is a monocot stem. Clear? The next one is polycyclic steel. So here the vascular tissues are the presence in them. That is a concentric type. One or more concentric type of vascular bundle they present in that is the way. So polycyclic steel. Polycyclic steel means the vascular bundles are the presence in a one or more concentric vascular.
solar panels. Concentric means so solar panel listen ma. Concentric means either xylem surrounded by phloem or phloem surrounded by xylem. Clear? So this is the central xylem means either xylem surrounds the phloem. The next time. Phloem surrounds by the xylem. So this is the vascular bundle as we are called. The name is known as concentric vascular bundle. Understood? Conjoined concentric. These two are very very important terms. The term. Right? So that's why I am telling. So for this type, concentric vascular bundle means either xylem surrounds the phloem or phloem surrounds the xylem. Okay. So this type of the vascular bundle is so present in this steel. So that's the type of the steel is we are called that's a polycyclic steel. Okay, that's a type of the steel is we are called a polycyclic steel. So that's an example of the species is a tenedium. Clear? That's an example of the species is a tenedium. So these are the topics only today's we covered. So I am going to give one of this uh, homework portion, children. So let us listen, ma. So in your textbook, they are given that is a diagram portions. So diagram this one, the type of steel. Okay. Already I said that so you have to be make it on class note. Am I correct? So that note, so all of you please try to draw this diagram. Okay. So what are the special types are coming? So each type space you have to be make to draw the diagram. Understood, children? Say yes or no, ma? Yes. The next one, you must prepare one of this five mark steel type of steel. Clear? Two mark steel, what is steel? The next one is one of the five mark steel together. What are the type of steel? Clear? Diagram also very very important. Then previous, that is a pteridophyte. So there you have to be prepared. That is a general characters. The just you prepare it. Two mark, one word, and three mark paste. Clear? Then one of this very very important another one question economic importance of pteridophyte is also prepared that's one of the five mark question so it's your duty is prepare two five mark question remaining one word and two mark and three mark paste will you able to do children say yes or no yes thank you students